In my lab, which is at the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics in Garching, south of Germany, we are developing three different labs. One is a absorption cell, so here we are actually making reactive species, in particular ions and small radicals. So these are very simple species that are important for the formation of more complex organics and uh, we need, uh, say, frequencies, so to measure their frequencies very accurately, and then go to the telescope and observe, and uh, then make predictions with our models, uh, chemical models, and uh, see if our models are good, <laughs> as you know, compared to the observations, and it's some kind of iterative uh, process. So one is uh, for these uh, building blocks, say, of uh, more complex uh, organic molecules, but not just organic molecules, like nitrogen bearing uh, uh, species, etc. And then another one is uh, on, uh, uh, it's called the Chirpols experiment, that allow us to actually excite uh, molecules, even complex organic molecules, and look at their decay once they are excited with the very short uh, pulse um, of radiation. And in this way, actually, we can, first of all, see the spectrum in a very broadband region and look at many lines at the same time. And uh, on the other hand, we can also actually study uh, and help the calculations, say, of collisional coefficients, because we can see, say, the de-excitation that can be linked to the collisions uh, of, uh, um, say, uh, these molecules in a space. And these collisions are very important because we need to have these numbers to then plug in into the radiative transfer codes that are needed to link the observations with the theory. So we need to observe our, say, theoretical class out and see if the, these simulated observations are similar or not to what we observe in space. And this trade union is done by these collisional coefficients. So that is why we are keen in, uh, in doing this. Uh, and I have to say this laboratory just started, let's say, to be operative because, uh, yeah, I started this uh, job two years and a half ago and it took a while to put these things uh, in place. The third lab that also is getting ready, so we are start testing it now, is about uh, ice characterization. So now we are not going to do any kinetics, so we are not going to, uh, say, ask uh, the questions how this molecule is formed, because there are many other groups in the world that are working on this surface chemistry. But we uh, want to actually build up ices and then uh, see, for example, if they are porous or not. You know how, mu how much, how many por pores there are. If there is uh, some, uh, so we want to measure, for example, uh, uh, the um, optical constant and then measure from there the opacities. Also in the millimeter wavelength, which implies to make quite thick ices. So we are implementing this. And this it could be very important, especially for very dense regions in space, where we know that molecules deposit on top of the surface of these tiny dust grains, and the thickness of these ices can be quite large, in particular in protoplanetary disks, where, where you start to actually co even collect these dust grains and make uh, larger bodies that then one day will become you know, comets and then planetesimals and then Earths, <laughs> new Earths.